Question 2. Figure 2 shows the equipment a student used to determine the specific heat capacity of iron. The iron block the student used has two holes, one for the heater and the other one for the thermometer. Point one. Before the power supply was switched on, the thermometer was used to measure the temperature of the iron block. The student left the thermometer in the iron block for a few minutes before recording the initial temperature. So just why? So that the thermometer temperature will be at the same temperature as the iron block. Question 2.2. Here's a graph of temperature against the time in minutes. The energy transfer to the iron block between 5 and 10 minutes was 26,000 joules. The mass of the iron block was 2 kilogram. Calculate the specific heat capacity of iron. Now, to calculate the specific heat capacity of iron, we need to go back to the graph and obtain some value between 5 and 10 minutes. So here we are on the graph paper. So we look at 5 minutes. That's 5 minutes there. And we can work out the value for the... So that will be 28 degrees Celsius. And for 10 minutes, and that will be 54. So that's 54 degrees Celsius. And then we want to use that in our calculation. So we need to write down the difference in temperature. Delta theta will be theta 2 minus theta 1. And we know what theta 2 is. That's 54 minus 28. And that equals 26 degrees Celsius. And we write down the energy equals mass times specific capacity times the change in temperature. We want to calculate the specific capacity C. And that will be Q, the energy over the mass times change in temperature and we can populate that with the value for c we know the value of energy is 26,000 over the mass which is 2 kilogram times the change in temperature which is 26 and so we would get joules per kilogram per degree celsius we would get 500 joules per kilogram per degree celsius so that would be 500 joules divided by the kilogram divided by the temperature question 2.3 the student repeated the investigation but wrapped insulation around the iron block. What effect will adding insulation have had on the investigation? We need to tick two boxes. Well, it will definitely have effect on the calculation of the specific heat capacity. It will be more accurate, so that will be true. And the second bit here, the iron block would transfer thermal energy to the surrounding at a lower rate. Yes, because that's what the insulator does to reduce heat loss. And the next one, let's see, we've already got it too. The power output of the heater will be lower than expected. No, the temperature of the iron block will increase more slowly than expected. No, the uncertainty of the temperature measurement will be greater. No, so it's the first two.